So we have a car driving along a straight road, and the position of the car is given by t squared plus 60t when t is between 0 and 2. And t is measured in hours, and s of t is measured in miles. And we want to know the instantaneous velocity of the car when t is 1. So using what we've talked about before, we know that we want to use the same setup as average velocity, only we want to be able to take a limit. But to be able to take a limit, one of our points needs to be a variable. So let's start by deciding what our interval will be. One of our points is going to be the point is going to be the point 1 comma s of 1, which is 1 comma 61. But our other point is going to need to be a variable. So we'll say that it the point occurs at uh, let's say x, and then the y variable is s variable is s of x, or we can write it as x comma x squared plus 60x. And this could be for any value of x other than x equaling 1. Now, let's find the average velocity. between t equal 1 and t equal x. So we do that by finding um, change in s over change in time. So it doesn't, we don't know whether um, x is bigger or smaller than 1, but it doesn't really matter as long as we always subtract in the same order. So we can do s of 1 minus s of x divided by 1 minus x. And using our function for s, that means we have 61 minus x squared plus 60x. It's important here to put that in parentheses because the minus distributes over 1 minus x. So this gives us the average velocity between when t is 1 and any other point that we're calling x. But now we want to take a limit of this function as x approaches 1. So we're going to take a limit as x goes to 1 of 61 minus x squared plus 60x divided by 1 minus x. And we notice that this limit has a form of 0 over 0, and that means we need to do some algebra. So if we factor the top here, first we'll pull out a minus 1, and we'll have x squared minus 6 plus 60x, because we have a minus that we're pulling out, minus 61, divided by, let's pull a minus 1 out of the bottom too, so x minus 1. Now those minus 1's will cancel, and we can factor the top, so we get limit as x goes to 1 of x minus 1 times x plus 61 divided by x minus 1. Now, Remember, we wouldn't be able to just plug in right here, but since it's a limit and we only care about nearby values, we can cancel those x minus 1s. And so now we're taking the limit as x goes to 1 of x plus 61, which is 62. So that tells us that the car was going 62 miles per hour when t equals 1.